Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. Well, today we're going to transform another doll because this is what we're doing here on my channel every week Friday. And today we're going to make probably the hottest woman in media history because really guys, do you know another character, cartoon or a real person, a singer or an actress who would be hotter and sexier than Jessica Rabbit? Me not, probably. Maybe just, I don't know, Marilyn Monroe, Betty Page, all these pin-up divas from the 40s and 50s. But anyway, they were real people and Jessica Rabbit is a cartoon and that's why the makers of Jessica could really push her sexuality Till the max, really. She's like Marilyn Monroe on steroids. And that's why I think we're going to have a lot of fun today transforming this doll. And here is, by the way, another interesting moment. You know, now all this scandal between YouTube, the FTC, the copper rules and stuff like this. What is for kids, what is not for kids. And Jessica Rabbit, I think, kind of fits this discussion. Because, I don't know, is Jessica Rabbit meant for kids? I doubt it. Is Jessica Rabbit attractive for kids? Oh yes, guy, really. I was a kid, I was probably, you know, six, seven years old when I watched uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit the first time. It was just out, maybe, I don't know, a couple of years out. And I extremely loved the combination of the cartoonish characters and the real people acting in the film. I absolutely love Jessica Rabbit, of course, everybody loved her, and boys, and girls, and kids, and adults, it was just the most beautiful woman we've ever seen, probably, on TV. But at the same time, I was kind of disappointed about the film itself, because for me it wasn't that much exciting, it was clearly made for adults, and for me, as a kid, it wasn't interesting. I really felt about this film like about, I don't know, some missed opportunity. They had such a brilliant idea combining these such a cool cartoonish characters with real people. And I don't know, and the outcome as a result is not that spectacular. This was my opinion when I was six or seven. And this just shows how thin this line is between the content made for kids and the content that might be attractive for kids. Because first of all, let's be honest, everything can be attractive for kids because kids are kids, they're not idiots and they're interested in different things, especially a little bit like the older kids, I'm not talking about the toddlers. And also, yeah, Jessica Rabbit, was she made for kids? I don't think so. Did kids like her? Oh yes, we adored her. Really, I remember we were drawing all our dolls on, I don't know, female characters all the time in Jessica Rabbit style. It, and it lasted for years. It wasn't just one summer obsession. It was really for three, four, five years. All our dolls had kind of heart, face, shape. Uh, one eye was always covered with some hair, fancy sexy hair, and another eye was always such a, with an eyeliner, also such a sexy looking eye. We didn't realize it anymore that it was inspired by Jessica Rabbit, but now as an adult I clearly see that it was. And right now, by the way, this film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, it has, I believe, age restriction 13 plus. So when I was a kid I could watch it freely and get inspired and draw my dolls looking like Jessica Rabbit and nowadays kids are not allowed to watch it so I don't know the line is very thin well this discussion is of course pretty endless I can talk about it for hours but I think it's actually time to start the transformation and while I'm here working please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button and I will start transforming the doll so, and this is the model for our transformation today. I honestly think that Frankie has just all the chances to become a perfect Jessica Rabbit doll. With her kind of fuller lips and with this hard face shape. So, let's start the makeover like always with removing her original features. First of all, I'm going to take her outfit off and then I will cut her hair very, very short. Thank you. 
I use like always my hair dryer to warm up the hat it will make the rubber soft and it will also melt the old glue that is still hiding inside of the hat so after about two or three minutes of blowing hot air I can easily disconnect the hat from the body and remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the hat using my tweezers And then I can take pure acetone and I remove her original face. I'm going to give my doll this red hair, but first of all, I want to cover the head with a couple of layers of acrylics that match the hair color. And after this, I'm rerouting her hair for a couple of hours, like always, using my rerouting tool. When the job is done, I add some tacky glue inside of the hat and I let it dry for a day or two. So now when the glue is drying, let's take a look at her body. First of all, I remove of course this thing on her neck, this pin, our Jessica doesn't need it. And the second thing is that our doll is not really curvy enough to be Jessica Rabbit. So I'm going to add some extra curves using epoxy sculpt. When the epoxy gets dry, I sand her body with nail buffers and after this I'm going to cover the body and the face with a couple of layers of light nude acrylics using my airbrush.
After this we can start drawing her face and before doing this of course I've already covered the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant because this is just a must in doll customizing. And today I'm using my watercolor pencils like always. A couple of weeks ago I've made an experiment comparing eight different brands of watercolor pencils to see which one is the best for customizing dolls. And today I'm actually using the winners of the competition, Derwent Ink Tense and Karandash Super Color Soft. And for creating the realistic looking skin tone, I use Rembrandt Soft Pastels. The main features of Jessica's face are of course the half-closed sexy eyes, very arched eyebrows, the red lipstick, the green eyes and the purple eyeshadows. So my goal today is to draw all these details on the doll's face. When the face looks quite finished, I'm going to blush her body as well using the same soft pastels and then we will move to the outfit. So Jessica's iconic red dress has a completely open back that goes really like this and the top part of the dress is also very open, there is no straps to hold the dress. So I think if I just sew the dress like this using the fabric, it's going to look very messy and it will tend to fall off all the time. So I think the safest way for me to create a very similar dress that would look kind of flawless is to make a corset first using a piece of warbler thermoplastic.
I'm going to use this metallic red fabric to make the dress and right now my goal is to cover the corset with the fabric. So this is our dress, it looks pretty cool I think and I've also decided to complete this outfit with this pair of long purple gloves. So and now let's make a very cool detail, because I know there are some people who are going to ask me where Mr. Rabbit is, well here he is, and I will not even comment the steps, you're going to see it all yourself.
I'm going to complete her look with this pair of shoes but first of all I'm going to cover them with a couple of layers of red acrylics and then I will add red glitter on top of it. So we're almost done, but there are still a couple of very important steps left. And first of all, I want to style her hair, of course. And after this, I attach the false lashes and I also add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. Well, I've put everything together and you know what? I hate the gloves. I don't know, I think they kind of ruin the look because the fingers are open and they're also not sleek enough and I don't really know a way to sew super sleek gloves that would cover each single finger and don't look like a mess. So, I think I'm going to do something else. I will make a sort of an imitation of the gloves and first of all, I'm going to add a piece of warbler to her upper arms, above the joints. And then I will cover the arms completely, completely the, the gloves part of the arms, using purple acrylics. And I think I will even add glossy acrylic varnish on top of it to make these fake gloves really super glamorous. Yes, I think it looks much better, guys. So, and now we can finally take a look at the end result pictures. So, here is my doll version of Jessica Rabbit, and I really love this hot and sexy girl. I really think she's kind of different from all my other dolls. But by the way, I've just now realized that I've used the same Frankie doll, the same hair, and the same skin tone for my Merida doll I've made a couple of months ago. It's kind of crazy, because the end results of these both transformations, they look completely different, so it was very interesting to see, I think. And I also absolutely love her curvy shapes and the hat with the ears, it also looks absolutely adorable to me. So that's why I really hope, guys, that you like the end result of my transformation today as well, as much as I do. And I'm really looking forward to hear what you think about it and also please tell me if you like the Who Framed Roger Rabbit film when you were a kid 
or you also love just the cartoon characters and you were not really interested in the story. I'm just really curious to hear your personal experience with this film. And this doll is now available for sale on eBay for 3 days, the link I will let in the description box, so all my Jessica Rabbit fans are welcome there. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, like always, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday. And I will see you already very soon on Friday in 7 days. And we're going to transform another doll. And I have some really cute idea in my head right now. So I'm going to start working on my next doll. And you please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, like this video. Love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.